the thought of war heroes conjures up many images. From soldiers lifting the flag over Iwo Jima to Union soldiers bravely charging at Gettysburg, these mental pictures are everlasting. Rarely, if ever, do we think of the animals participating in those same battles in this same rarefied light, though perhaps we should. Case in point, the story of Comanche, a U.S. Army horse who participated in the Battle of Little Bighorn in 1876. Shot seven times during the battle, he's since been lauded as a genuine war hero. His accomplishments are truly amazing. In 1868 St. Louis, the U.S. Army purchased Comanche, a mixed-breed horse, for $90. His purpose was to be of service to Captain Miles Keough, a man and soldier who was previously glorified for his role in the Civil War. Like Captain Keough, Comanche was regarded for his resilience. In his early days fighting alongside the captain, Comanche was wounded by arrows, though he continued to carry him through battle. He was struck many other times, but he never gave up. It wasn't long before other soldiers of the 7th Cavalry Regiment took note of his uncanny endurance. When conflicts arose between Native Americans and the U.S. government in 1874, following continued U.S. land grabs, battles waged often. This continued for two years, and in 1876, the Battle of Little Bighorn erupted. It was on that battlefield where Comanche truly earned his remarkable reputation. Taking place on June 25, 1876, the Battle of Little Bighorn resulted in one of the bloodiest defeats of the U.S. Army in history. In the process, the Northern Cheyenne, Arapaho, and Lakota tribes defeated the entire 7th Cavalry Regiment. Following the battle, Comanche was found still standing among the hundreds of deceased soldiers, including Captain Keough, who lay lifeless on the battlefield. The brave horse appeared to be in horrible shape, and he had been greatly wounded during the battle. Struck by seven separate bullets, it was astonishing that Comanche had survived the battle, especially considering the bloodshed surrounding him. Nevertheless, it was a testament to his endurance for pain and companionship. In the past, Comanche has been regarded as the sole survivor of the battle, though this has been disproven over time. While there were no human survivors, there were, however, other horses who were captured alive by the Northern Cheyenne, Arapaho, and Lakota tribes. Following the battle, Comanche eventually ended up at Fort Lincoln, North Dakota. There, he began his long recovery process and slowly regained his strength. Just two years later, he was officially allowed to retire. In 1879, Comanche was transferred to live in Fort Meade. It was there where the honorary title of second commanding officer of the 7th Cavalry was eventually bestowed upon him for his role in the Battle of Little Bighorn. When Comanche eventually died in 1891 at the age of 29, he became one of just three horses in the history of the United States Armed Forces to ever have received full honors during a military funeral, further cementing his impressive legacy. Comanche might not have been the sole survivor of Little Bighorn after all, but that does nothing to take away from his incredible legacy. Share this story of loyalty with your friends.